You know, I've been waiting a while before I decide to speak on this alleged brick lady, uh, Rhoda Osmond, which is on TikTok. I had the opportunity to sit back and just watch and observe, listen to what everybody had to say from start to finish. What I find quite interesting is that no so-called black American woman took offense to her making mockery of you and of your ancestors. In this image, she is dressed as a caricature, looking like a mammy with a piece of watermelon, grinning. She's making mockery of the so-called black Americans, but yet it's utterly surprising that black women were so quick to jump to her defense and raise over $40,000 over a lie. And what hurt so bad is the fact that it was so easy for black American women to turn against black American men without any type of evidence. No type of proof. When I first saw that video, I knew from the very beginning that it was a lie. Now, coming up as a young man into adults, I say from the age of 10 years old, I studied martial arts, I boxed, and I wrestled. There is no way that someone could get hit in the face with a brick. She didn't appear to have any type of headache. There was no blood. She was not knocked out unconsciously. She wasn't knocked out cold. I'm sure if someone had a smack her in the face with a brick, someone would have witnessed that. She would have been in pain. She would have had a headache that would have lasted forever. But listen to her story. She said that a black American man, now keep in mind, she was using the word nigga and this and that and the other. She wasn't speaking on a Somali man. She was talking about a black American man. It was so easy for her to use the lingos that's used here in America to get people, black American women and black males to take side with her talking about how no one defended her. Just think about that for a moment. And now you have all these black American females talking about they have no men to defend her. Where are your brothers? Where are your uncles, your cousins? Where are your sons? What about the man that you lay down and open your legs to every single night? Where was he? Why don't he jump to your defense? Why do you expect strangers to protect you? And then you turn around and get on social media and talk down about those same strangers. Look at what black American females was saying about black men. And this, this Somalian female is making mockery of you. Knew exactly what to say. And she was like pointing to her face and, and talking about the men's and talking about niggas. And they was like, you know, what do you expect us to do? She came out of nowhere crying and y'all immediately jumped on the bandwagon 
and that was so easy for you to turn on black American men. In this day and time, we can't trust black women. Brothers, we are on our own. We've always been on our own. Because even the so-called black American females, I don't even refer to black American females as our women. Because they've proven time and time again, over and over, that they are not our women. So why do you expect the so-called black American man to jump to your defense? Put his life and freedom on the line for you when you don't even respect him. Now, a big shout out to the black American females or women that came to our defense. They had all types of videos on YouTube and TikTok and Instagram bashing the so-called black American man for something we didn't even do. But you had this Somalian female that didn't blame Africans, didn't blame any Somalian men. She spoke on black American men and black American females so quickly jumped to her defense and so easily turned her back on black American men. That's sad. And then when it came out that she was a fraud, then not only did we not get an apology, but they were more, there were even some black American females that were still trying to justify it, but still. And would get angry because of the fact that people were presenting evidence that she was faking. She knew exactly what to say to get you on her side, create a GoFundMe page, and you guys raised over $40,000 for her and she didn't, it's heartbreaking. Really think about it, it's heartbreaking. It was that easy for black American women to turn their backs on their so-called black men. Brothers, we are alone. Like I said, I knew from the very giddy up, I've been in fights, boxing, martial arts, and I've seen dudes that were hit. I recall, and I shared this story before when I was a little boy. And these guys, these older men, I was in the driveway playing with my little cars, my little toys. And these men were playing cards. And I heard them arguing because I guess one of the guys refused to pay $2 that he owed to someone else. Now keep in mind, this was back in the 60s. And the window was open, I could hear them arguing, and I heard this guy repeatedly say, I want my $2. I want my $2. Before you realize that they were fighting, this guy had a hammer. And I'll never forget the guy's name. The guy's name was Martin, the one that was getting hit with the hammer. And this guy was going upside his head with a hammer. And when I saw Mar uh, Martin... His face was lumped up, bloody, and he was in pain. This female alleged that she got hit with a brick. And she didn't go for medical attention. She didn't get knocked out. There was no blood. She wasn't in pain, but yet she had a camera. Blogging, talking about what the men didn't do. And another thing that stood out to me was when she was in the hospital and she was talking about 
what happened. She said the dude, he asked me for my number and I told him no. And then he picked up a brick and said, what are you going to do? Brothers, how many of y'all ever picked up a brick and said, what are you going to do? That right there did not even sound right to me. Yo, lady, can I have your number? No. Pick up a brick. What are you going to do? And then hit her in the face with the brick. That don't even sound right. But y'all fell for it because we saw a, a, a Somali female that was crying, fake crying, pointing to what appeared to be a big knot on the side of her face. And all she had to say was black men did it. She didn't say Somalians. Because you know a lot of Somalians, Africans don't even refer to themselves as being black. They identify as Asian or white. They don't identify as black. Very few Africans identify as black. When they're applying for a job and they ask what their race is, they would ask, what's there? And then you name off the list, black Americans, black, black Americans, African, whatever they call, they would say Asian. They don't even claim to be black. So now all of a sudden she gets hit allegedly on the side of her face with a brick. Got a big old goose knot there, which others have said that is saline solution, which she had injected. And now she's saying black men did it. No black man, no nigga, the wording that she's using. She didn't say nothing about being Somali. And yet y'all jumped to her defense against black men. That's really sad. That is really, really sad. We are alone. So-called black American men are alone. We're by ourselves. It's us against the world. Because even the so-called black American women, which I refer to as females, not even a woman, it's a female. The own so-called black American female so quickly turned her back on you and believed a lie rather than the truth. And I sat back, I watched all those videos, I listened to what black women had to say about black men, and um, there were black men that were saying like, look, this is, this is, we don't do that. You know, and if anything, black American women should know black men better than that. You know, you should know us better than that. Now, yeah, there are dudes out there that's, that's outside of the outside of themselves, you know, drug, whatever. Uh, got mental health issues and even then I don't know of too many brothers that when a, a, a woman say no he gonna pick up a brick and say what do you want to do think about that what do you want to do so all he had to say all, she said no because he asked for the number she refused so where did the brick come from how did a brick happen to be there for him to pick up and say, what do you want to do? Because she said, no, you can't have my number. So what do you want to do? And then he hit her in the side of the face with a brick. How does that sound to you? And y'all believed it. Y'all was so easy to believe that lie. And so easy to turn your backs on your own men. And this female is from Somalia. And she, even on her GoFundMe, she's got this caricature image up there making mockery of you with a piece of watermelon cheesing. And you guys support her. So, I don't know what to say. But I just find it weird that it was so easy for you to turn your backs on us. So feedback, tell me what you think until next time. I'm fearless.